Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amber Westbrook and today I am fixing the mess that is this very splotchy, very uneven pink hair, which I mean, it's not that bad right now. It actually kind of looks rose gold. You can see my awful roots, but uh, yeah, we're going to be fixing it today so that it's all an even kind of medium bright pink and then eventually it'll fade back down into a more subtle, pretty rose goldish pink. But for now, we're going to fix uh, what happened in the last video, which was just a disaster. Don't want to talk about it. Don't want to think about it. If you want to see it, I'll leave a card so that you guys can watch it. But we're going to be fixing that today. And I found the hair color that I used to use from back in the day when I actually had pink hair for a while. And it is this. It is the Ion Color Brilliance Brights and it's in the color rose. So this is my ideal pink and I got two of them and I also got some conditioner so that we can mix it up make it a little bit more. I'm not gonna put too much conditioner in it because I want it to be pretty saturated so that it stays pink for a while. It's gonna look really good. I'm determined this time that it's not going to be like how it was last time. So this is the tube that it looks like. I am going to pour this entire thing into my little bucket and then I'm gonna add some conditioner. And if I need to use the second one, I will, but I'm gonna try and get it all in one. And if I need more, I need more and I'm fine with it. That's why I bought two. I don't wanna have the, the problem of the last time where I have to go sparingly. I'm going to put a lot on and I'm going to make sure that it's all saturated. I'm going to do the separation and everything. I have my clips. So we're gonna do it the right way. It's gonna be good. This is. A about to be better. <laughs> also, I got a new fuzzy microphone cover, so I'm not going to get color on that today because I just fixed it from when I got bleach on my last one, and I really like this one, so we're going to be very careful today. <laughs> okay, so this, that actually looks very different in real life. So it's, the light is kind of making it look a little purpley, but this is uh, one whole tube, and that's about how much it gets. And I'm gonna go ahead and add conditioner. So I added about that much conditioner to start and I'm just going to mix this together. The thing that I like about this color is that it doesn't really like dilute much. So like when I put the conditioner in, it stays pretty much the same color, which is nice. But if you're going for like a more pastel pink, you're gonna have to use like a little bit of color and a lot of conditioner because it stays pretty vibrant. Okay, so this is now how much I have. And it's quite full. So I think this will be enough with just this to do my whole head, but I still do have that other backup color. Okay, so now I'm going to section my hair. All right, so as usual, I'm going to start from the back and the bottom. We're about to fix this. All right, this is the color that we've got. It's very vivid. This is even with the conditioner in. And like this light is actually like blowing this out a little bit because it's super bright right up close, but it's actually really, really bright pink. So this actually looks very, I'm looking at it in the camera. It looks very different. So this is gonna make quite the difference. Last time when I put the other color that I hated, the one that we shall not name on this hair, uh, I could barely tell any difference at all, like, of color. So, like, when I put it on, it's almost like the color just disappeared. I was just putting something, like, you know, the same color on. This is not going to be the same, I predict. Oh, yeah. This is much, much, much better. And last time I was saying something about how I didn't care if it looked good in the back because I couldn't put it up in a ponytail. And since then, I actually tried putting it up in a ponytail. And, yes, these pieces are actually long enough. So, I can wear it up, which is good. My side shave has finally grown out long enough that I can actually wear my hair up now. So I am going to care about whether the back looks pink or not. And like, just look at how pink that is. This is what I wanted. This is much more of what I was expecting than what I got before. So I am officially excited. And my hopes are officially high. Like, I don't want to be disappointed. And I don't think I will because I've used this color before and it came out great. So let's hope that this comes out pink, pink, pink which is what we're going for. It's even brighter in person. Sometimes I wish that like cameras could have like the same as human eyes where you could actually see colors. Cause sometimes if you have like neon colors or bright colors or certain pinks, certain blues, things like that, like the camera just does not pick it up. Like it just doesn't look the same as it does in real life. So eventually we will have amazing cameras that can do that. But for now in real life, I'm happy. Guys, this is coming out so pink. I'm really happy. I think this is gonna look really good. I think that uh, we're going to be able to fix this hair and it's going to be amazing. Okay. 
As usual, I'm getting these front pieces really good because if I pull it back or have it like, you know, pulled away from my face, I want it to really look even and pink and I want to make sure it has really good coverage. So like this is part of the most important part is like the pieces right around my face. So I want to make sure those are gotten real good. Okay, I just have one side left to go, and then I'm going to let it sit. Okay, so I officially used all of it. It is completely empty. So I feel really good about that. I feel like <laughs> it was a good thing I put a lot of conditioner in because then it went a lot further. And this is definitely some saturation in here. Like this is gonna look really, really good. I'm excited for this. So I am going to let this sit. It's a little chilly, so my head's probably gonna be a little cold and uh, show you the final result. For me, it's gonna be an hour. For you, it's gonna be right now. Okay, so when I go to dye my hair pink, this is what I expect. I am super happy with this. The only thing that I've noticed is that the ends where I had like a lighter blonde because that was like my old blonde, they did turn pinker. So the more true pink you want, definitely go with like a really, really high level when you bleach it. All of these pieces are even. It's kind of like a rosy gold color and I'm so happy with it. This is exactly what I was going for in the beginning. Finally, after trying and failing, now I have have the correct color. Honestly, I'm just going to keep buying this particular brand of hair color and doing it the same exact way because it just turned out so good. Like I just feel so bright and just happy and oh, I'm just, I'm in love. When I get tired of it, I'll do another color for sure. But for now, I am so happy with this. And I do know just from past experience that this color does fade out really evenly. But anyways, I hope you guys learned something and I hope that this helped you. Like I said, it's this color, Ion Bright's Semi-Permanent Cream Color in Rose. So if you're looking to get pink hair like this, that's the color you're gonna wanna use because it's the best one that I've found. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you and I'm so grateful to have you here on my channel. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you can see all the rest of my videos coming out. I have so many more planned for this channel and I can't wait to share all of that with you. For now, stay safe, stay healthy, I love you, and I'll see ya in the next video.